Hello, welcome to this brief introduction to a topic that, um, here's the title of it. Are you vegan? And other conversations we do not have to have. What do you mean we don't have to have that conversation? If you go to my introductory video on conversations, period, um, that big introductory video, uh, the full strength one, um, I talk about the hard conversation, the uncomfortable conversation we're going to need to have about, you know, whether we eat plant-based foods or whether we eat animals, meat and dairy, right? And I was saying that that's probably going to be an uncomfortable conversation for people to have, but it's an elephant in the room conversation we need to have. Now I'm suggesting the opposite, that maybe we don't need to have that conversation. <gasps> well, how on earth could we avoid having that conversation? And, um, and here's how, okay? Take a look at food healers if you haven't seen it yet, right? Um, feeding everyone. And therein we talk about creating this universal stew, okay? And, and delivering it to everyone, right? right where they are, so they don't have to go out and travel to get food anymore, right? Um, exposing themselves to pandemics and exposing others to pandemics, et cetera. We'll bring the food to your home. In order to do that, the food must be 100% plant-based for so many reasons, right? Uh, spoilage being one of them. Um, uh, nutrition being another, you know, safety, health, safety. Um, and, um, you know, the, the, the not murdering animals part of it is really big. The not enslaving and, you know, raping, et cetera, et cetera, uh, animals and stealing babies from their mothers and whatnot. Um, there are so many reasons why we, it, it'll be plant-based, but the ones that we project to the public when we're introducing uh, food healers and the universal stew and all that, very simple, we turn it over to the doctors. And we've got this wonderful team of, of uh, medical doctors led by Dr. Priya Naik, um, who will simply say, listen, for this stew to be maximally nutritious and immune boosting in the face of pandemics and other stressors on health, um, you know, it has to be 100% plant-based, that's their conclusion. So we just turn it over to the doctors. We don't make it a big, you know, vegan versus not. We don't make it a necessarily even an animal rights thing. We just say it has to be this way, right? That's the conclusion for all these reasons, from logistics to safety to nutrition to ethics to you name it, uh, to cost. Um, for all these reasons, it's the way to go. By doing food healers and feeding the world, feeding everyone 100% plant-based foods, you've suddenly just taken huge leaps forward in going plant-based such that we might actually be able to avoid the conversation. Are you vegan? And if not, here's why you need to be vegan, right? I mean, it's only a matter of choice for like privileged people, right? Our main objective in feeding the world is to go, is to feed those who are at the opposite end of the economic spectrum. And uh, anyway, it's just an interesting sort of, topic and that's why I threw it out there because it's a bit controversial but I keep telling my vegan friends the best way to get the world to go vegan is to feed them plant-based foods and that brings us bam right to food healers 100% plant-based so just wanted to point that out that's an introduction to this topic let's have the conversation we'll see you there thank you